And without further ado, let's go into some magic, shall we? Speaking of tarot, this week's magic, I thought I would show you my favorite tarot spread. Now, if you're not watching, if you're just on audio, that's okay. Just picture it in your mind and you can do it easily, easily. Ah, my producer is holding up a tarot card. Um, this is a spread. We're not reading the tarot. So picture yourself um, a pyramid. We're going to do a pyramid. So I want you to put Five cards, I, for those you can see, I, I was creative with little stickers. Five cards across the bottom, and then four just above it. We're building a Christmas tree or a pyramid. Then three just above it, then two, and then one at the top. Um, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. It's a 15 card spread. Good number, magical number. This is really great for a question or a situation. Um, you probably won't see this anywhere else. I made it up myself unless I just pulled it out of the ethers, but it is absolutely my favorite tarot spread. So while you put the cards out, however you do your setup with your client or whoever you're reading, start from the left to the right and from the bottom up. First, put the five cards on the bottom. The five cards on the bottom are the base or the focus of the situation. Now you might notice if you have some major arcana cards down there or what kind of cards if you're leading towards swords or majors or you're leading towards you know, cups or different things. This is the base. The one right in the middle is the main cornerstone, the center pillar of things. So that's kind of the most important base of the situation. The two outer ones, that would be the cornerstones. So out of the five cards across the bottom row, the center one and the two outside ones are like holding the, two, the whole thing up. Think of holding up the whole situation. And the two in the middle are part of that base, the foundation of your question. Now we're going up. If you look at the outside of your pyramid, it one, two, three, four, there's five going up. The five going up and the fifth one is the top. The five going up, that's what it looks like on the outside of the situation. So again, if you're starting to notice that, the, oh, there's a lot of people here, people aware, self-conscious, image conscious, or overthinking things going on. So again, from that base, we're going up on the, just on the outside, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then the center card. So basically it's the one, two, three, right in the middle of the pyramid. For those of you who could see it, or you could draw it with your finger in the sky, because I draw everything with my finger in the sky quite often. All right, so again, that's pretty basic. The foundation, the outside appearances, or the outside working, or the outside influences. The two in the middle, in the little middle, the, the only there's only three cards that don't touch an edge. The two in the middle at the bottom, those are the secret workings that you're maybe not aware of. It could be subconscious stuff. It could be influence from someone else or something else, the universe, somebody else doing something. So these secret inside ones are ones that you're probably not aware of in the situation. So again, now moving up, that center little one, the, we're in the three that's across, it's in the middle of the middle of the middle. It's the third line and it's the third card across. That's the heart of the situation. So again, that's looking at, are we looking at the base of material stuff, base of, base of love, base of thought, base of focus, left brain, right brain, whatever it is. And then the top one, that's the outcome of the situation. So it, it sounds a little complicated, but I swear it is like the simplest spread ever. And it tells such a story, the base or foundation, working it out working up the sides, the, how it looks on the outside, the appearances, the hidden things in the center you may not be aware of and need to be aware of, the heart of the matter right in the middle, and then all the way up at the top, the outcome. And when you see these cards, when you see them spread out, you're gonna see little threads and little patterns like, ooh, on this left side, things are being influenced by an outside person, a dark whatever man. Over here, your shows you're thinking too much. You're seeing good sides of situations, maybe the, the sides you need to work on of situations. But all of a sudden, when you're seeing the outside, the foundation, the hidden inside, the heart and the outcome, you've kind of got an answer to your question or your situation. So I call it the pyramid. I call it Patty's pyramid. So give it a try and see what you think. Make whatever adjustments. Now, every once in a while, you might want to go, oh, wait, these three cards over here, they're telling me a story. I want to know more. 
add a couple cards. Whoop, you can make a little arm on that pyramid if you want to. No rules. You know me, no rules. But this basic foundation will give you an amazing foundation for your cards. Whether you're reading them by the book, the maker of your book, or you're doing a right waiter or, or a basic tarot, or you're completely intuitive or whatever in the middle, you've got a really nice base, secret hidden, outside appearances, heart and outcome. That's your magic for today. Magic is everywhere and certainly in a deck of tarot cards. Thanks.